So it's true. I've gone too far to find you. My favorite ice cream flavor. Mm. Oh boy. I sure do love good old fashioned ice cream cone for breakfast. You know what I mean? I can't believe we came all this way and they didn't even have my favorite flavor. How do they run out of birthday cake ice cream? You know, it's not the store's fault that they don't have your poor choice in ice cream. You should have chosen something less mainstream. Uh, a flavor that people don't recognize as much as they should. And that flavor is classic vanilla. I scream, you scream, we all scream when you realize they hit a nuclear bomb in the ice cream truck! Uh, this is an ice cream store. There's no ice cream truck anywhere near us right now. Oh, right. Then whom did I blow up? Okay, go. Hi. Good, how are you? Ah, oh, dang it. That's the third time this week. My parole officer is going to be steamed. Hey, Dr. Awesome. I know you keep trying to kill Michael and I as an attempt to destroy the corner crew once and for all, but why not just take the day off? Come on, have an ice cream cone. Yeah, it's all nice. Wow, really? That's so nice of you guys. Yeah, well, everyone needs a day off every now and then. Well, what will it be then? We have vanilla, coffee bean, fake bean, black bean, pinto bean, chickpea bean, guinea bean, soybean, bushes bean, milk, dog chow chocolate, you name it. We got it. Oh, how about birthday cake? Sorry, sir, we're actually all out of birthday cake ice cream. No birthday cake? Nope, someone came in and ate all of it right in front of my big stupid face. I didn't do anything about it. He looked me in the eyes as he did it. I'm nothing but a no good coward. God help me. I'm just as disappointed as you are, Doc. No! you needed my help. Yes. Three very smelly men are interfering with my ice cream business. I need you to show them the intense hospitality of a Chick-fil-A employee. Well, what do I get out of this? Ha <laughs> ha ha. I'm afraid you don't have much of a choice if you want her to live. Her? The one thing you truly care about in life. No, don't you dare, or I swear. If you want to listen to the soothing sound of her voice ever again, you'll do what I say. Fine. So what needs to be done? Oh, I think you know already. But are you sure you want me to do this? You two are aware of the- I am damn well aware of the consequences. I have no doubt in my mind that things will go smoothly. Everything will go according to plan. cake ice cream. And then, for having a little chat with the manager, in which I slam his dumb head into the table, they have the audacity to kick us out! How childish of them! We're the real men here! Yeah, man. This is gonna be the best day ever. Until they ran out of my ice cream. Listen, guys. I know you're upset about the ice cream. I would be too if I didn't think birthday cake ice cream was disgusting. But trust me when I say this day is only going to get better. Not again. <laughs> Guys, why don't we go to the ice cream truck down? Oh. Never mind. 
Well, I'm tired and I want to go home. I'll find my ice cream one day. Not sure if it'll be today, not sure if it'll be tomorrow, but soon, I'm going home. Uh, Dr. Awesome, can I get a ride with you? Oh, I'm far too poor to afford a car. Then how are you getting home? I'm homeless. Want to share an Uber? Yeah, sure. Did you get any of that uh, English project done? Nah, not yet. I'm thinking about just not doing it. Dude, that's like a summative project. You gotta do that. Yeah, I, I might do it, but even if I didn't do it, I'd still be passing. Uh, I've already done it. It's, it took me like straight 30 hours no sleep, but Jesus. I got a 65 on it, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. You know, I'm passing with a 71. Yeah, oh man. Yeah. Hey, you heard that new Kirk Franklin? Yeah, I've been bumping that Oh all man, day. that stuff was funky, dude. You know, you go like, yeah, you I go know. like, hey, you revolution. I know. You know what I'm saying? Oh. oh man, that was. So do you wanna, do you wanna go to my grandma's house, bump that new Kirk and uh, eat some pinto beans? That kind of sounds good, but I gotta get home and play Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, why? I gotta keep my rank on the leaderboards as 391 before someone bumps me off. Oh, that's kind of a shitty score. Well, you know, you're kind of a shitty person. Alright, later! Mr. Burster? Hello, little Mike! How did you get into my house? I am homeless! How, how does that help? Listen, little Mike, I need your help. No, please get out of my house. You see, when I missed out on that free ice cream you and Carter offered me the other day due to lack of birthday cake, I've been trying to get my lips on that delicious flavor. And after a whole day of thinking, I've come 
to the conclusion that the only way I can taste that sweet sensation again is by going to the ice cream factory. I got the address right here. Hey, that's a great idea, Carter. What the heck are you talking about? That was my idea, and Carter's not even here. Thanks, Michael. What the? Looks like I have my work cut out for me. This is going to be more difficult than I thought. I need to find something they oddly obsess over. Oh. But if only I knew something like that. Oh boy, I love me some ice cream. This is so confounding. Now I just need to come up with something smart. Excuse me, miss. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Lana Del Rey? The minute you hear her smooth, silky, slimy voice, you're gonna be hooked. Have you heard her new album, Lust for Life? You know what, sure, I'd like to check it out. I've always, uh, I hear these youngins talking about Lana all the time, and uh, I, wanna, I wanna check it out. Oh, can you believe you're the first person to take up that offer? Mm -hmm. Now let me just find the CD right in. Wait. Where's the CD? You. You must have stolen Lana from me. You must have saw the joyness that filled my heart and you took it from me. How? I, how could I take it from you? We've been talking for less than a minute. Doesn't matter. You're gonna pay off your life, Diddler. I always knew this day would come. Oh, I'm gonna bust you up. Well, we made it. It's not? Uh, I don't think so, but I, I guess we could still have fun here. D don't we need money? How are we supposed to get in? Oh yeah! Rats! Well, it was a worthy effort, but I don't think we'll be getting any ice cream anytime soon without any money. Also, Carter, what the hell is happening to you? Your hair keeps changing and your clothes are changing. Uh, like, are you shut kidding? up, shut up, Michael. It, you don't have a say in the matter. Uh, but yeah, that'll be a roadblock. Dr. Awesome, don't, don't you have a job or something? Why don't you have any money? And also, why are you homeless? Oh, that's an easy question to answer. You see, I was an art major in college, and- Oh, I see. Okay, well then. I think we all know what we're gonna have to do to get this ice cream then. Rob a bank? Rob the ice cream factory? No, no. Something even worse than those horrible, awful options. Looks like we're gonna have to get jobs. What? Are you crazy or something? Yeah, Michael, you can't suggest something like that to millennials. All we wanna do is just sit around and shit our pants all day. Look guys, I know it doesn't seem like a good option, but it's the only option we have. I mean, like, what else are we gonna do to get some money? Well, we could always turn to selling pots. What? That's an even worse idea than getting a job. What? People always need new pots, pans, and other kitchen essentials. There's a market for this, guys, I know it. What, but you said... Shh, 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 shh. Forget about it, forget about it. Shh, it's okay, hey, 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 it's all right, it's okay. Hey, Dr. Awesome, you can go sell your pots or pans or whatever the hell you're trying to do, and we'll go get jobs at Chick-fil-A or something. Okay, so we're splitting up, good. I'll be able to focus completely on my entrepreneurship, while well, you guys go to be slaves to the capitalist system that is our government. See you later. Oh no, they're infiltrating my line of work. I can't allow this to happen, not on my watch. Who's that weird guy in the outfit? IDK. Wait, did you just use IDK in an actual real life company? Enough of that, enough of that. It's time to pursue a career in chicken services. I just, I don't know, okay, yes. 
Uh -huh. Boom, just in time for work, and hopefully I beat Hello, my good man. We are here looking to apply for a job here at Chick-fil-A today. Yes, as you can see, we walked 20 miles to get here, which proves the great lengths that we're willing to cover to get this job. <laughs> oh no, they must know who I am. That's why they're here, isn't it? They somehow figured out that I was watching them, and now they're here to battle me. Okay, Team Money, think. I can't let them know that they know who I am. Just play it cool. Yeah. Well, are you gonna hire us or what? <laughs> Can I help you with anything? Yeah, we just need some jobs to help scoop the debt. You know what I am saying? Uh, no, uh, not not really. But um, I can take your application if you want. What? What? No! Thomas, be quiet. Hey, Thomas, take these applications to the back, okay? Or the call could be in the good old hill country right hand. Shut up. Okay, well, uh, I'll take the applications to the back, as well as this dead body, and expect to hear back from me shortly, okay? Well, it's been my pleasure serving you today at Chick-fil-A. Jesus Christ, just take me out of this scene. I can't, I can't do this anymore. This is hell. I, I'm done. I, well, no, 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 I'm done. Alright, Carter, you can go home. I'm sorry, you have to deal with this. Oh, Carter already left too. Um, Alright, guess I'm going home. Alright, it's time for my big movie date. Wait, I'm gonna get him in this movie. Let's see. Okay, Dr. Awesome, Team Money, Joe Salas, Joe Salas. There's a lot of Joe in this movie. Oh, here we go, right here. Mr. Mercer! No, that's not right. Uh, I'm not even in this movie. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Sorry I butted in. No, oh, come on! Hey, there you go, fellas. It's another day in the life of Hunter Davis. Shut oh, up, Hunter! All right, well, now that he's gone, we can finish this masterpiece. Wait, if that's the real Hunter Davis, a.k.a. Coat Sleeves, then who did Joe just drag away? I don't know. All right, so slight issue. That little scrawny kid, uh, he got into the Chick-fil-A sauce and somehow came back to life. So... There's no side effects as far as I can tell other than him being like super annoying more than what it usually is. Um, but on the bright side, good news, y'all are both hired. Congratulations. Oh sweet, looks like we'll be working with you, Thomas. I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, come on, visit Dr. Awesome's mystical curb and pursue my wares. There, you sir. You interested in some fine dinnerware? How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Get off my property! Where do you expect me to go? Just go home! I'm homeless. The streets are my home, as far as I'm aware of. Ugh, never mind. Man, I'm beat. Been to two houses all day. I can't find a single customer. Maybe the 2008 housing crisis really did suck up all the fun of selling kitchenware. So, it has come to my attention that you're selling chocolate to the good citizens of Alaska, huh? No, I don't think so. Selling kitchenware! Ah, kitchenware, the most prized possessions of any faithful consumer. And it's funny now, because I've been in the market for kitchenware for quite a while now. Really? So, you want to buy some? No. Listen here, you little jerk! I've been sitting my behind in the hot sun all day, and you're just gonna... While I appreciate everything you've done to help stop the corner crew, I gotta say, you're pretty annoying. 
Anywho, from now on, you're under my control. Capiche? And how? What? Excellent. This plan is going along marvelously. Even better than the tiny tables I could have predicted. This, I'm getting a call from my favorite assassin. I can't wait to hear the news. So, how exactly did you assassinate them? Sir, they're still alive. What? How could this be? You had the perfect lead on them. The perfect weapons, the perfect skills. How could you possibly lose those imbeciles? Oh, I didn't lose them, sir. And all you gave me was a pair of binoculars. Then where in the world are they? Oh, they're right next to me. They work at Chick-fil-A now. With me. So what's stopping you from stopping them at this very moment? Sir, Chick-fil-A is a good chicken sandwich restaurant established by S. Truett Cathy in 1946. Violence was never his attention in any of these stores, and I'm not going to change that anytime soon. Well, that's too bad, because it would be my pleasure to change that. No! Don't you dare! Thomas, get off the damn phone and help the next guest. T-Money, I don't think you realize what's at stake here. You've come a long way. Don't let me down now. Don't let her down now. You're right. Okay, but here's my condition. I don't mind finishing this off once and for all. But, not here. Not now. They get off work at 10, and I should be able to find an opening by then that will allow me to take them to your lair, sir. Now this sounds like the man I hired. I anticipate things will go smoothly, and once things do, she'll be yours again. I won't let you down, sir. I know you won't. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah, thanks. I learned a few tricks from Dark Shot and the team. Carter, can you believe we worked almost three whole hours today? At this rate, we'll be millionaires within the end of the week, and you can buy all the birthday cake ice cream your little uncultured heart desires. Yeah! Oh, it's nice to get paid. I wonder how Dr. Awesome's business is doing, actually. Maybe we should try to contact him. We could try that. Hey, that's me! Doc, it's great to see you again. So, I assume the entrepreneurship went well? Epic! Well, that's cool. So, what's your plan now? My plan? To take over the corner crew! Wait, I, I thought we agreed to a day off. Well, we're back on the clock now. So prepare to save yourself if you know how. Back up, Jack. They're mine. Oh, so now some cute skinny white boy is going to stop me. Adorable. Nobody calls me that, you ungrateful rat. You must surely be a fool as I challenge you to a duel. Well, consider me in, but prepare to find yourself living in a garbage bin. No need. I already do. Hey, if you two Nancys are done rhyming, now let's just get on with this stupid duel. Yeah, what he said. What kind of duel is this going to be anyway? Oh, I think we both know what kind of duel this is going to be. Oh, with pleasure! I wish it didn't have to come to this, but I have no choice with this mysterious man keeping my Lana Del Rey captive. Neither did I, but it must be! Wait, did you say THE mysterious man? No, I said this mysterious man. Why? Do you know him? Of course I do! He put me under his mind control and told me to destroy the corner crew! Really? Wow, he told me to do the exact same thing. Except I'm not under my control. I hope. Hey, how about we just bring them both in? It'll be easier to take down with our combined powers. That sounds like a great plan! Besides, I couldn't stand having to do another one of those cringy fidget spinner fight scenes. Oh yeah, anything but another one of those. Let's take these guys in, alright? Not so fast! Aha! Oh, the mysterious man will be so proud. I can't wait to bring them to him. Now, to send them to his lair. Thank you, gentlemen. But that won't be necessary. I got them from here. Huh? Really? That was easy. Does this mean I'll get to see Lana soon? Aha. Uh -huh. No, I'm not done with you yet. You're coming along with me, too.
Hello, Michael. I must admit, I've been a secret admirer of your work for a plentiful amount of time. Ever since that very day where your original crew split up in disagreement over that final deciding between Star Wars or Smash Bros, I knew there was something special about all of them. I wanted to be like you, your group, your corner crew, desperately. In fact, I became one of you. You were one of my main inspirations, especially in the world needed saving when Bartholomew and Shakira fell to the hands of Dr. Awesome, or when the crew shattered to pieces, be it Eric, Justin, or even you. I wanted to help save the world too, and you may not recognize me, but I saved you, little might you know it. But it's a shame what you did to me though, because had it went any other way, you'd be leaving here alive. But that's not the case. Uh, what are you talking about, man? Uh, Oh my god. You left me to die, Michael. Remember Corner Crew 3? No. It happened, but nobody was able to see it. But that's besides the point. Because now, your precious crew is going to die. Thomas? I don't care if I ever hear Lana anymore, but you can't go on like this. You little butt wipe, nobody tells me what I can and cannot do. You leave me no choice, you despicable poopy head. Michael, morning. run! Carter already I left, but you have to go find Dr. Remix. Awesome. Yeah. Are you <laughs> ready for this, brother? You better be. Here we go. Oh boy, now that hit the spot. Doc, come on, we gotta get out of here. This whole place is about to blow up, dude. But, but I just got my birthday cake ice cream. We've come all this way. We can't give up now. We just can't. The flavor on my tongue is something so passionate that I don't know if I'll ever be able to replicate something so magnificent as long as I live. I know, but this isn't about the ice cream anymore. This is about the crew. But I never cared about the crew. I just wanted free ice cream and I'm finally getting it. Listen, this whole place is about to blow up into fiery flames so you can either sit here and eat your ice cream or come with us and live. Fine, you're all so picky. T Money, come with us. Go on without me. Save yourself. Never forget you, T Money. Until my dementia hits me. real hero in music, in art, and in serving chicken. Who paid for the funeral? Chick-fil-A did. So, now that your day off is over, Dr. Awesome, what are you gonna go back to doing? Do what I do best. Stop the corner crew. That's the doc I know and love. What about you guys? We're just gonna do what T-Money would have wanted. Serving chicken, listening to Lust for Life, and best of all, as the corner crew, stopping you. I think there's just one more thing T-Money would have wanted. And what would that be? 
an epic dance party. Hit it, Joseph. Mm -hmm.